Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a second video from my Seascape series. So if you missed the first one, I will put the link down in the description box and please go check it out after you watch this one. First thing, I'm starting with the sketch and since the sketch is too light and not visible on the video, I decided to, well, to make a photo of it and so you can see what I've pre-sketched. And there's just some couple of mountains and horizon line, beach line and some reflection in my water. Next thing, I pre-wetted the paper and only the part where my sky is going to be, but I left it also a little bit wet in a part where the tops of my mountains are because I do want my pigment from the sky to go into my mountains and just to make some some sort of reflection in on the tops of my mountains. I'm painting sky with the uh, azure and right now also with Mars brown and I actually really like that color Mars brown because it's a granulating color meaning that when it dries it just leaves well those little granulations some some difference and textures in in the paint so I love it for painting a beach and for the clouds and I also really really like the mix of those two colors they just look so beautiful soft and pastel so I I use those two colors right now I'm also picking up the paint from my cloud for my clouds with the white tissue now I'm preventing the part of the paper where the water and beach are going to be and then painting the beach and also the water with just a light wash of Mars Brown. I also wanted to mention that all the materials and supplies I'm using will be listed down in the description box so of course you go check it out you can also find there the links for maybe purchasing that product it's my affiliate links and if you buy any of the products using those links I get a small commission and well I would be very grateful of course but only if you are planning to buy those supplies anyway Again, adding some more pigment on the corners of my beach and I'm leaving the middle part where the reflection from the sun is lighter and not really painting it because I, don't, I really want that part to pop and to look like there is a reflection from the sky. Right now I am again preventing the paper and adding some clouds to my sky and for that I'm using a smaller round brush and Mars Brown again just to add a little bit more interest and texture to my sky and I'm not really painting clouds in any particular way but just making those horizontal lines and in that way making the impression that there are some clouds in my sky. I also decided to paint some sun rays going over my mountains from the sun and for that I used a tissue paper and just lightly pick up the paint for those sun rays and right now I'm adding some, some lines with my brush again adding a little bit more pigment to the beach just to make that middle part pop even more and this time I'm also using sepia. After the paint completely dried, I'm painting the mountains and for them I'm using Mars Brown and Sepia and as you will see, I will paint the mountains that are on the sides of my painting in a darker color and those that are in the middle part I will paint a little bit lighter and for them I will also use raw sienna because I want them to look as they are illuminated by the sun. Thank you. 
I'm not really trying to paint my mountains perfectly in one similar same wash, but I'm just adding color here and there and making a little bit textured, making it in a different colors because I do want them to be different, I do want them to be textured and I don't want them to be in one same wash and I, would, I don't think that would be quite realistic. So as you can see I'm just adding a little bit of color here and there and well as I said not trying to make it one same wash. In the lower part of the mountains I will paint them also darker because they are in the foreground and they are hidden behind those mountains that are further away from us. They are also as you can see lower so they will be darker. I also did some irregular line on my lowest mountain because I want it to look as there are some trees up on them. Again, when the paint completely dried, I just took a little bit of raw sienna in my brush. I did not prevent the paper, but just took that raw sienna and I'm adding it around the sun and on the part of the mountains where the sun is shining, where the sun rays are falling and also on the part where the reflection in my beach is, just to make that reflection more believable. Next thing with the azure and turquoise blue and just a little bit of water in my brush without preventing the paper, I'm adding texture to my water to see and not a lot, just a little bit as you can see, just a little bit of that blue. Right now with the script brush I'm adding some waves to my water and for that I'm using sepia and Mars Brown, the mix of sepia and Mars Brown and just making them quite dark just to make them look as they are in the shadow from, from the sun. And I will paint them slightly lighter in the part where the reflection is and just a little bit darker on the sides. With the side of my script brush I will also add a little bit more texture to the sea. When the paint dried, well as you can see watercolors dry pretty much lighter, so I'm adding a little bit more pigment to my beach to make that reflection pop even more and I will add also some raw sienna around the reflection in the water and also in the beach and around a little bit around the sun and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for supporting me and if you like this video please hit the like button and comment share this video and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would really, really mean a lot to me and of course if you like painting seascape this won't be the last one in my series so make sure to stick around and well I hope I'll see you next time bye